It's such an honor to sit with you, June Hunt, and talk about boundaries, how to set them, how to keep them, how vital they are to healthy relationships in life. Let's talk right now about verbal and emotional abuse. Mm. I'm talking people have heard words that you'll never be anything, you'll never mm -hmm. grow up and do anything, and these words hang on people for an entire lifetime. How do we set firm boundaries with verbal and emotional abuse? You know, most people don't even know that term, exactly. even though there was a point in time where <clears throat> we were called at our ministry, we have a care center, a call center, and, and they said, if ever you do add any topics, because we had 96 topics at the time, yeah. d but you don't have anything on verbal and emotional abuse. I went, oh, uh, oh, uh, I hadn't thought of that, because yeah. that's not a label most people yeah. No, they, and they it's know not sexual abuse. You see on your body physical abuse. Uh, yeah, it's they, something that's happening mm -hmm. internally. They, they know domestic violence and all. So, but and that's it. It's, but I don't have a, I don't have a bruise that's visible. But my heart's bruised, mm -hmm. and um, I, I can tell you, I wrote material on it, but I didn't do it. I didn't exactly. Oh, in other words, yeah. there, there was someone in my uh, life who was wonderful at doing many, many things. Yeah. But I would say, why, why do you treat me the way you treat me, yet you don't treat your friends this way, other yeah. friends? You don't treat your children this way? You don't treat other people? What? And, and the answer was, I don't know. Hmm. Multiple times that happened, and the strange thing is, over my life, I've had three people who've been this way. So I think the common denominator was me not knowing how to set a boundary. Okay. But, but okay, a, a boundary is a line that should not be crossed. Mm -hmm. So let me just illustrate literally what happened. Okay. It's not that I didn't know how to set it, I just didn't, uh, I didn't apply what I knew. Mm -hmm. And so I said to this, friend, um, so capable, so accomplished, so bright, so intelligent, and, and, and who was hugely helpful in my ministry. So the bottom line is this. I said, do you think it's right the way we are interacting? Do you think, do you, do you think it actually pleases God? And she said, no. Do you think the friendship is the best that it should be, hmm. the best that it could be? No. Well, what if the next time you explode or you know something like that, I, if I just I'm not I, I leave and that way, but I'm not leaving permanently. I'm I'll come back. I'll I'll be coming back. But since the Bible says, uh, it, well, I, actually I didn't say it to her, but the Bible says in Proverbs nineteen nineteen, a hot tempered person must pay the penalty. Yeah. If you rescue them, you'll have to do it again. And that's what we had, was this pattern of again and again and yes, again yes. of exploding toward me. And I had people coming up to me saying, June, why do you let her treat you this way? Mm -hmm. I mean, I was the head of the ministry, you know, right. but nevertheless, this person was a power person and yes. highly capable, yeah. but she would belittle me yell at me and all, yeah. and I didn't know what to do, but I was afraid, see, I was afraid of losing her talent, yeah. and so I let it, the people pleaser, yes. uh, you and I have taught, well, you, yes. just, you know what it's like to be a people pleaser, yes. Yes. and yet, who are we really to please? It's God, God. himself, yep. yeah. And so at times, we need to say no to people so Ooh. that we can say yes to God, because the Bible says, say no to ungodliness. Mm -hmm. Well. So I had to finally realize, okay, I'm going to attempt this. Uh, I, know, I, I know what's happening still is not right. And other people are bothered by it too. See, other people are people watchers and they see it's not a good dynamic. So uh, I, you first establish what is that, what, what is clear that you will not continue to accept? What, what must you know that you ha must have a boundary on. Mm -hmm. And so I said it was the anger out of control yeah. of my friend. And then announced the consequence. I was going to wow. 
walk away. Leave, I, if, if whatever, and I would come back. It's not I'm leaving forever. Uh, and, and so that's, those are the first two points. Establish what is wrong, what you will accept and what you will not accept. Number two, what is the repercussion? What is the response that you're gonna have no matter what, and you, number three is do not negotiate. No matter what, it, it's not it's not going on and talking about it. You just keep it short, sweet, to the point. Okay. And I and I did that. So now I'm late getting to her house to pick her up for an event, and uh, I'm hearing my voicemail go explode, exploding. Yeah, right. And I was on a call that I felt I needed to finish, but I was late. And so I arrive, and everything's fine. And so, okay, ready to go. And so, we, and we're, I'm thinking. I said, but do you remember we were going to? Uh, you know, I, I heard the voicemail, and so I said that I would then leave if that's the case. Well, you can't leave now. We're here. Everything is fine. You can't leave now. And on and on. Mm -hmm. And I said, I'm, I am going to leave because I promised that I would do this. Wow. So I left. Now I started getting phone messages on my yes. my car phone ringing off the wall, you know, and, and um, but I, then I quit answering the phone. So bottom line is I did not continue on. In other words, I didn't continue to engage. The next day, she was pleasant. Next day <laughs> after that, pleasant for several weeks. And then the, after the third week, again, an explosion. Again, I had to disengage. Yeah. So that's the key. You've got to establish what is mm -hmm. wrong that must change. Number two, you explain what the repercussion is. Number three, you do not engage. You do not, because people who are power people or control people, yes. they know how to control you. Yeah. And so you, you determine, no, I'm going to hold to the point. I will not go forward anymore. And then I'll re-engage when and, and so then we talked about it later. After the second time, I'll, I will tell you, this only happened about five times, which, you know, I had even written in our material that it won't take many times. This is on verbal and emotional abuse yeah. on that topic. I thought, here, after all these years, I finally applied what I wrote. And so I'm, you know, I would love to tell you I'm consistent. Yeah. I didn't do what I knew to do. But it made all the difference in the world, wow. and so it, and it changed the dynamic of the relationship. Mm -hmm. So having a boundary, yeah. knowing what the boundary must be, in this case, somebody who explodes at you, yeah. then you go from there, and and you just say, you know, I want us to have the best relationship possible. This is the only way it will work, and it's mutual respect. Don't you think people that are emotionally and verbally abusive, number one they're hurting inside, they don't feel good about themselves, they're, they don't feel loved and valued, or they wouldn't talk like that. And number two, they're sort of trying to control you and the situation. The, the control part is right. Yeah. But there, you look at the Bible, a lot of times it does talk about prideful people. Mm -hmm. And if they feel they have, and she had an excessive view of pride, it, uh, there was uh, not uh, it, 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 I, I know most of the time I, that's where I go. I mm -hmm. think there's something wrong there. But in truth, it can be pride. And why would we want to reinforce giving in to somebody if pride is the issue? Right. That's not healthy for anyone. No. So the, it, it, it does appeal to the significance, the control part. Yeah. And maybe we, we need to talk sometime about the three inner needs and why, yeah. why that's vital to understand their role in our lives, but what we must, that's not the way we get our own significance mm -hmm. is trying to uh, put somebody else down. Right. So having that boundary will help them and it will help you with them. Wow, thank you, June, for your practical tips on, on boundaries and dealing with verbal and emotional abuse. I know that many people are going to apply it and it is great, rich material. Thank you. Thank you.